What's up, people? It's me, your boy. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Dark and Wendy, Pokemon nerd and Figamon artist and loser. You know, that one guy who wasted eight years of his life making 2,000 Figamon? Yeah, hi, that's me. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna... This is probably gonna be my, one of the first of many videos that I start doing, I guess. I kind of want to explain my journey and everything like since I'm a, I'm apparently uh I'm apparently a good a big figure or something in the Pokemon community or something like I really don't I really don't see how but uh yeah I'm just going to start doing some videos like kind of explaining my some of my design my generations why I started some some things that I've dealt with and things of that nature, I guess. Now we know what some you know what's funny? I actually I started this video earlier on, but I didn't hit record. So I spent about a good twenty minutes talking to nobody. <laughs> so yeah, hi, yeah, I'm am I'm an amateur video maker. Yay, yay. But yeah. <laughs> I guess we I guess we can start from the beginning. Uh, let's see. I started I started doing Figamon when I I started really doing Figamon when I was about eight, nine, ten ish, because like it was just on a whim. I started doing my own stuff. Like my first Figamon was a kind of a rip off Eevee. Like it's a had kind of Eevee's face proportions things. Well, not its proportions, but it was kind of like a, a long a maned wolf version of Eevee with a spiral tail yeah it was kind of eh. well you know how it is with your older designs you you look back and you either leave them in the past or you bring them forward and improve upon them and you'll see what happens with that later on spoiler alert but uh yeah um i started when i was eight nine ten but that was just my first thing i didn't really start start until in, around middle school when I saw Lewis Brain, like I got inspired by Lewis Brain on DeviantArt at first, shout out Lewis. Um, yeah, I started doing that. I saw I saw his artwork, I got inspired by it because I thought they were cool. So I started doing, I started making lists and everything. Like when I started, I had, I had a bunch of Pokemon guidebooks and art books like the ones you get from the scholastic book fair like that the books that had that talked about the anime the books that taught you how to draw the pokemon things like that the ultimate handbook that had a bunch of errors i had, I had those kind of books and i would always spend most of my time just redrawing pokemon over and over again in different orders either in alphabetical order or in numerical order just whatever i wanted to do so when i did that i started inserting my own random designs in between them like just they were just literally on a whim. I would just literally just make them for the list and just go from there. And one day in middle school, in a, one of my I guess my I think it was my science class, I started drawing my first starters that would be the beginning of the project: Platy, Kabu, and Cezaber. So that was for my first generation. I made my whole. I made. I started doing a bunch of research at home. Like I didn't have, I didn't really have a social life, so doing Pokemon and playing video games and things, watching a lot of cartoons and movies, that was most of my life. Like my dream was to always just be a person who designs stuff for games, for cartoons, things of that nature. Like that's always been a dream of mine, and it's still a dream of mine to this day. So I'm still trying to find work in that field. Well, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Um, I did a bunch of research and I just made, used to make a bunch of lists. Like my first goal was to make more more of my own Fakemon than official Pokemon at the time. And I started doing Gen 5 where there were 649 Mons and it, sort of at the beginning of Gen 6. I started during that, uh, that time period. So I started there, I made a bunch of lists and I just kept on going from there. I, I made I made paper lists from gen my gen one to my gen seven, and I would just 
draw uh, I'll just draw from there I didn't have my tab I didn't really have my tablet at first I didn't I didn't have any kind of tablet at first I just did like the point and click I used a mouse so a lot of my older ones look kind of janky but you probably couldn't see them because I dumbly replaced them instead of just making new files yeah I'm stupid <laughs> but um yeah I did that for my first two generations but then eventually I got a tablet and I was able to do more with that and actually practice and get to where I'm where I'm currently at now it took a long time and I'm still not quite there yet like I'm still trying to learn since I'm still seeing more people doing it much more accurate than me but I've developed my own technique to do it and whatever works works <laughs> so I did that I actually met my goal when I stopped that it was ironically enough my gen 5 was when I reached I reached my goal but it was in the middle of the gen so mm, I still had more at the by the end of my gen 5 I had like 700 by the end of my own gen 5 so um by then I had yeah after I beat my goal I decided to try and well well before I go into all that hmm, back then hmm, nah nah it's okay uh, I cut the court because I beat my goal like that I stopped at gen 5 I decided why not let's just keep going see if I can make the most Pokemon since I don't really know much about what else to do and I didn't really have much else to do like I didn't really have a social life because most of the time wherever I wherever I stayed I was always far away from friends or a good distance away from where big stuff happened what big stuff would be so for the most part I just spent most of my time in my room playing games and drawing so like I said before uh, so I would just sit around, make ideas, and just draw all the time. That's pretty much, that's pretty much all I would do. So I just kept going. My my end goal, like my original end, well, I won't say my original. I started. I stopped. I was gonna stop when I reached Gen 12, because why not it was just like whatever i wasn't really getting any attention anyway like the only the only reason that i got quote unquote popular at the time was because i added i used to add like on deviant art i didn't really get much attention at all unless i did fan art for people for like artists that i that i liked or people or if some of the artists didn't like or some of those artists didn't like my designs that i did at the time like if I like if I had a design like I had designs based off of specific characters or things of that nature, it would, it would kind of be a uh, yeah situation. So well, not a situation, but they wouldn't they wouldn't really like it there. So yeah, I didn't really get much feedback for the most part on any of my stuff on DeviantArt. So for the most part, I just I kind of just gave up and just said whatever I'm just gonna do me let's just no one's no one's seeing what I'm doing no one's got anything to really say unless unless it involves them or it apparently offends them so bad or something so why not uh, I started yeah I started when I was 13 so I was young dumb and I didn't really know what the fuck I was doing <laughs> like I was just doing whatever I wanted didn't really care that much well I did care but it, it was it was it was just really it was just fun to do like there was nothing else to it really um when i started gens yeah i started my goal was going to be yeah i was going to stop at gen 12 because why not yeah, like i said no one really gave me any attention at that time and funny enough gen 12 was not the last one in that row or anything well, actually, Gen 11, <laughs> because believe it or not, Gen 11 was actually I wanted it to be a collaboration type generation where like I asked different artists in the in the Pokemon community to give me ideas and I would credit their idea credit them with the idea as the as the gen went on, but I hardly got any real 
like I got some and you can see like if you went to my DeviantArt you can go to my I think the extras or something and you will be able to see all the, the scrap designs that were originally going to be in Gen 11 but eh, I'll dig I'll go into that more when uh, I go I go through I, I go to Gen 11 and explain everything like why things change and all that but yeah Gen 11 was the last one out of that set to be done. Like, once I did, uh, uh, yeah, I did, yeah, by the end of Gen 12, I had 1,575 mons. It was because, and because that number was so damn specific, I decided to just keep going. Because it was like, okay, no, that's too specific. What the hell? People are going to think that that's, that's going to mean something. And I wanted it to be, my stuff to be well-rounded. So instead of Gen 12 with 1,575 mines, I decided to upgrade to Gen 15 with eight with exactly 1,800 mines. So Gen 15, Gen 13 had 50 new ones. Gen 14 had 75. And Gen 15 had 100 to round it all up. So I did that and by that time I was starting to get a bit more popular. Like I did like this was all in the span of a few in like like four or five years. Like I did all this during my teen years when I was still in middle school and high school. So my stuff is still not that up to par. Like you like you can tell the difference if you go to my wiki or see anything in general. You can see the difference in some of the designs because I've gone back and redid some of them versus their older forms. So you can you can see. But yeah, uh, and because of that, like Gen Gen fifteen was going to be my end. I ended I ended it I ended last year. Believe it or not, yes, I ended Gen fifteen last year. The project was going to be done, but then I just sat there and was like, hmm. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it when I, without not doing this stuff. So why not? Why not do more? Why not make it an even twenty? <laughs> uh, yes, I am a psychopath. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. But yeah, now I have now the end goal. Now the end goal and my ultimate end will be Gen twenty and twenty five hundred months. Yeah, it's a lot for no reason. It just me. It just comes up. It just dwells on me having a lot of fun with it and wanting things to be well rounded for the most part. That's really what it all shakes down to. Like for the most part, like I said, and I'm still going back to my older stuff to try and revamp them a bit because I already know that they're not really that great. Like, uh, like I said earlier, I didn't really get that much attention back then at at the time, so. Most of my stuff just ended up looking, yeah, and a lot of, and I've had a lot of folks, yeah, yeah. I really, I don't really want to talk about it because it's kind of negative, negative for me, and I don't want to make things feel bad or something like that. But yeah, it, it was a lot. It was very stressful during the entire time because, for the most part. No, like imagine doing trying to do something big or trying to do something that you think is fun or cool or think something like that and having people just not care or just think that you're you're doing too much or it's, it's pointless or no one's gonna or it's just like it's not it's not gonna be memorable and things like that like over the years i've heard a bunch of stuff about me like how i don't take criticism I don't I don't take criticism. I only care about the quantity of my mods and not the quality of my mods. Uh, I'm a I'm an egomaniac. Uh, I don't I just don't I just don't listen. It's just it was all just like during that time I like I said I didn't really have that much interaction at first, but it was during a certain time period like. A, a few like a few years afterwards, like I, when I already had the thousand months and everything like that, that's when that's when people started to come out and say actually say stuff, and it it just felt like it it was just all it was it just feels it just felt like all that time and all that time had passed, 
And I just felt like I just got really defensive when people would say things about my my mom. Like I like this was pretty much I feel like it was gonna be the first time that I actually will I actually had people to show my stuff to. Like people would see him on people would see it on DeviantArt, but I really didn't really get any feedback or attraction. But then again, I was a, I was a small fish in a big pond. Like people had already had their own groups and their favorites and things of that nature. I was a new kid on the block, so. At the same time, I can't really blame anyone for not noticing me for the most part. But yeah, you can't you can't really change the past, really. All I know is that it was just really stressful and it really hurt because I I really feel like I just giving up because it just felt like no matter what I did, certain artists that I would that would that I respected or looked up to just didn't care or didn't like my stuff at all. Like they would always, it would always be a problem or something like that. It would, like they always, they would always find a problem with my moms or have their own things. Like I would, yeah, I would, just, I would just get really defensive, and it would just, and it just spiraled into it being a stigma against me and everything. So, so I guess I'm, I'm. So it's pretty much just my. That was probably my fault because. I wasn't I wasn't used to it because like I said, no one hardly anyone said anything at the time. And when they do say and when they did say stuff and when they then then when they started saying things, it was all negative. So if you can imagine just you're just sitting there, you you're you're trying to do your best, you just you're you're slowly learning more and everything like that. Then some people that you kind of looked up to and you kind of liked the artwork of start saying that they don't like they don't like your stuff and things like that. You need to change this, that, and the other, and everything. And it's all just coming at you at once at the same time. And it feels like no matter how much you try and how you how much you show that you're not impressing them and that you're and that at the end of the day they they're just not going to like your stuff. It was that kind of feeling for me. And that's when I kind of, and after a while, it like it it, it still kind of ate at me. But after a while, I just had to learn that no matter, like people are always gonna have problems no matter what you do. Like it was, it's just whatever at that point. Like you have to make your art for yourself. Not you're not you're not you don't have to like bend to the will or you don't have to listen to everything that people say. Like it's it's good if you do, but it's not required. You just have to do it for yourself. And if you think that you you've improved, you've improved. It's just it, this is just stuff that I've learned. I've had to learn after based off of all the stuff that I've gone through over the years. <sighs> Going from having no, nobody, having hardly any any attention, to uh, apparently to suddenly getting a lot of attention is just kind of whatever. Like. And apparently people see me as some big figure when that's far from the case. Like I shouldn't be this big figure just because I have a bunch of mods. I just I'm just a singular dude who has no social life due to the living arrangements. During my teen during my teen life, I had nothing to really do except doing art. And doing fake of mod was just fun for me. That was literally the only reason. I always planned a bunch of stuff. I always just, I, I planned a bunch of stuff beforehand, and that's how I have all my designs. I do a bunch of research. I'm a nerd. Like, so that's pretty much all much of it is to it for the most part. Uh, I do my, for the, for the Dexes, I don't really, like, yeah, Gen 15 ended last year, and I was going to end it because that's when I, I, I do my legendaries. I did my legendaries last. Like after my gen, I think it was gen. After I did my gen eight, after I did my gen eight, I stopped doing the legendaries at the end because they. I knew they were going to be very complicated for me since they were the major ones. So I would just wait until the. I waited until the very end. I pushed a lot of them back because I kept on adding more. And once I finished all the legendaries and everything, that's when I stopped. That's how I was going to stop. But, like I said, I, I figured I had nothing better to do right now because of the COVID stuff. And so, why not? So, yeah, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm doing, gen, I'm doing, I'm doing five more, well, 
I'm doing the same thing again, like Gen 16s, Gen 16s, done, Gen 17s, done. I'm just doing, right now, as you've probably seen on my Twitter and everything, I haven't really been posting much new stuff because I've been trying to just cut and hold back a little bit because pretty soon it's going to be over anyway. So I've just been posting a bunch of my older designs and everything like that to just, because I already know that because of the number of months, the number of months that I have, yeah, a bunch of people, especially new people who follow me and fit and find out what I do and all this other stuff, a lot of people aren't going to know what they are or see what they are. So, one, so I'm just po random posting and while also kind of simultaneously doing uh, new new designs and everything like that. Like right now, I'm on Gen. I'm doing. I'm just doing sporadic. I was gonna originally just go through Gen 18, but that's too boring for me now. So I'm just doing it sporadically. So I have some Gen 18 months done, some Gen 19 months done, and some Gen 20 months done, and I'm just going from there. That's literally all I can really do right now. Well, it's not all I can. All I can do. I just I do random sketches and everything from here, from time to time, but. You know, we already know how that how that goes. Ugh. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part. The TLDR is just I start I started it because I got inspired by Louis Brain. I have I have this many I have twenty five hundred months and twenty generations just because I'm just because I had no social I had no social life. It was fun and I I love to draw art. I like Art. I, I just love to draw and do Pokemon and Pokemon and all that other stuff. It was a it was a stressful time because because there was a bunch of kind of negativity involved around me because of stuff because of kind of like misunderstandings and things that were kind of my fault because I handled them the wrong way. And uh, right now I'm just trying to live my best life and hope and hoping that. Some that some that you know probably ten twenty years from now people are gonna people are gonna look up try to look up pick Pokemon and stuff like that and see my stuff and be like what the fuck who did all this <laughs> you know you know how it is when when people when you originally do something no one cares but then later on down the line people discover it is it is just this amazing thing all of a sudden like that's how some memes are so for the most part yeah that's it for the most part. This is my first, this is pretty much my first real video that I'm just talking to y'all. So I'm just going to say, hey, yeah, hey again. Uh, mm, th thanks, just thanks for all the support, for all my people who actually like my stuff and everything like that. I know, like, I already know my stuff's not the best. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'll never say that I'm the greatest Pokemon artist in the world. I, I never, I, that's far from the truth. Like I'm still mediocre at best, at probably compared to most of my other most of my friends on Instagram and things like that. Because, oof, yeah. But yeah, I'm. I'm I'll probably do more videos like this where I'll just well I'll just go over my process when I do my when I how I do my minds like how the concepts and everything come to be, and I'll go over my I'll go to my wiki and just explain my thought process for each generation and why the designs are and things of that nature and i'll go and yes i'll go over the ones that'll that you know, that'll still be redesigned anyway so really happy <sighs> we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see but uh thanks for watching this is my first video yeah it, it, it's very yes it was very awkward um but we but we made it but we made it through it together we did it guys <laughs> Uh, dark and windy out. Dark and windy out. <laughs>